Okay. We have a second story time. Okay. This one is motorcycle crash. It was. I also made this in third grade, but the, uh, but this was when I was eight, I think. No, eight is when COVID started. I think. Can't remember. Uh, I think it was seven. Okay, so uh, anyway, this one's called Motorcycle Crush. Should I show you this? First, I'll do that. It started as a normal day in India when I woke up at midnight. I went and got my cousin and we, were, and we called my uncle to take us to the roof. When we went to the roof and cracked coconuts until the sun was going to rise. We cracked coconuts because, like, they were dry coconuts. We tried throwing them, like, yeet them off the three-story building multiple times, but it wouldn't work. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I wonder what that means. The green. Okay. So anyway, when it did rise, I wanted to look at the explosively beautiful sky I couldn't, I can't even describe. Then we started throwing rocks and leaning and, and at the leaning coconut tree to get coconuts. When a coconut fell on the ground, we ran and caught, got the coconut. But sadly, we only got one coconut and it was hard to break. At one point, I thought it was made of painted steel, but we didn't give up until 7 a.m. This is India, so it's like, I don't live in India, so it's like, I always get up really early in India and sleep really late. Like, I'm not tired. I get tired, I'm tired in the evening, but I'm not tired at like, 12 a.m. At one point, I thought, oh wait. It was time to go to the kitchen and hang out with my with grandmother for breakfast. We call her mama. After that, we watched TV until about 10 a.m. Then it was time to go wake up my lazy sisters. It was a long wait for our favorite store to open its doors so that we could buy some snacks and goodies. Later in the day, we requested my uncle to take us on a motorcycle ride. We finished, we finished eating all our snacks, playing with goodies and Jenga. By then, it was time for our motorcycle ride, me and my cousin's sister. We hopped onto the motorcycle and my sister preferred sitting behind me in the back seat because she never tried it before and like I was used to the front seat. There isn't a front seat, so you're just standing on the motorcycle. Later in the day, oh wait. That left me with a good spot in between my uncle and my sister, my cousin's sister, so it's my uncle's daughter. <laughs> She's uh, really close to me. My sister held onto my back and I held onto my uncle's back and we set off to have a good ride. We were enjoying the ride, watching people and having fun. All of a sudden, while we were passing a fashion shop, I don't know why I mentioned that, a guy on another motorcycle screamed, WATCH UP! Yeah, might have been easier if you yelled at like five miles ahead, you're on a motorcycle. That motorcycle then crashed into the side of our motorcycle, making a dent on the motorcycle. Our motorcycle flipped over. Luckily, we were next to a flat surface of dirt. My sister jumped off the motorcycle, and at the last, at the last second, and I got a and got a scratch on her leg. I fell off the motorcycle. My uncle held up the motorcycle with his leg, and I could not move on the ground. So my uncle slowly leaned over the motorcycle so that he could carry me. It landed on me, like it landed on my leg. I got a huge uh, cut on there. I, in fact, I still have a mark, but he could not carry me in that position. It was a very uncomfortable <laughs> position. 
for some reason I didn't cry. And then afterward I jumped on the bed and cried. This was an interesting scene to attract the onlookers and we were surrounded by a lot of people. Bruh, it's like the entire traffic system just paused. The, the people helped get the motorcycle up and put me back on the motorcycle. My, my uncle was fixing the steering of the, that part isn't true. Uh, he, my uncle was just trying to get it to work again because we had to go back home. That is when I realized Indians are very caring and nice. Well, to be honest, other people are, but it isn't like that in India. All the, if you land on the side of the sidewalk um, with a motorcycle on you in America, the, tra the entire traffic system won't stop. When we got home, my grandmother was horrified. She saw my uncle's leg, my leg, and, about, and my cousin's leg and got first aid. Okay. Let me show you how far, like, his, he got a giant cut. Okay, so say this is my uncle's leg. Say this is my uncle's leg. Uh, it starts here, like this big. And then it goes down here. And I still have a teensy tiny mark somewhere. I can't remember if it was my left leg or my right leg. Okay, I can't remember where it was either. But I still do have it. Just saw it a while ago. So base, so she she saw my uncle's leg, my leg, and my cousin's leg, and I got and got first aid to take care of us. When we went upstairs, I told my mom about the crash, and I so slowly drifted off to sleep. And that's the day I will rem remember forever. I remember in India, I used to always get up at midnight, like I woke up at seven a.m. I mean, like I woke up at twelve. Like, I had been awake since 12 o'clock. And I remember in the evening, I felt like someone just woke me up for school at 7 a.m. It was so weird. Okay. Their story time. I'm going to post some Smash. Bye.